For the longest time, people in our society have been conditioned to think that some particular medical conditions are witchcraft kind of conditions. And it's, it's just a myth. And this myth has made so many people to hide their kids in homes rather than taking them to seek medical attention. And for that particular matter, today we are here in Kisi County, Kitutu Chache South, Nyakwe Ward, Kiaboiga Village. We are here to see a particular family that has uh, male children who have uh, a kind of a, who have a condition that makes their muscles to deteriorate and they finally die. And uh, they have sought medical attention, but so far so good, nothing much has been done, or rather, the condition has not been discovered. So today we are here to look into that and see what much we can do to help this condition and put the information out there for our people to know that it's a medical condition and not the myth and misconceptions that we've been made to believe for the longest time possible in our society. So, Mwote <laughs> Zebedi, 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 we are in Just fat. Just fat. Just fat. Just fat. The first time I was here, it was 2015. I was at the time I was at the social services. I was at the time Now, I had gone to the chief of this location, Pala Nyakoya, and Muta John. And I came I think the third born to the family. I was program but your time was cut in Hapa. We had a lengthy discussion with Mama. You took part of the Jumzea Kukoya time, one at open to a barrier at least at a family, Kitia Kukula. 
So mama ndiye akaniambia ukijana kwa hapa is my third born the first born to muzika hapa juzi tu kanaonesha picha za mazishi ukijana vile alikuwa kuwa mgonjwa na mwingine ame ameanza ame kuwa mgonjwa kama kama ndugu yake but kuna kijana wa pili yeye baada ya shule so tukaelewana tukaongea tukamaliza tukaenda now it came around 2018 Mm, nikuwa na my former boss uh, director wa National Council for Persons with Disabilities Kisi County he was doing a monitoring check up ya watu wanapokea pesa ya wale mavu tunaita cash transfer to persons with disability disability so he had a name alikuwa interested sana kujua kutoka kinyakoa hii sehemu ya Kiawega i had to bring him here so wakati tulikuja hapa the condition i met ukijana anaitwa Kaisa now is the late may he sold the rest in peace ilikuwa was sama leta ngo rukitsiri mpiru seitombo kiru leba za yetuko kurwara mo mo ta jo mo te ndi arabu yo mo marem mer waka rundi na sab rao noya taka awa tenya kapu na ni wangapi wamekuwa ni ugonjwa kwa watoto wako wako wawili mhm wawili tayari wamefariki eh wawili ndio wako umechukua umechukua tu gani kama mzazi labda kuwatafutia treatment yani tu bipereka na bipereka hospitali na tujio anarudi. Mwingine alikuwa wakati wa kwanza kulipeleka yule mkubwa, alikuwa anazama ni mazo. Ni mazo, mazo sasa ugonjwa kama hili hapa. Mpaka sasa hivi, mpaka sasa hivi, mpaka sasa hivi. Tukiangana yeye hapa tukaambia mama peleke the nearest dispensary au anafanywa nasi ya zile bed sodi. Najua kilala to one side kama hakuna mtu wa kumbadilisha utapata bed sores nimekula kitambo kumtaanisha hapa usiku ni mtu unafaa after 30 minutes if possible iwe unamuwe mm-hmm. sisi tunasema kunya kumwonchora unchora kunya kumwonchora unchora but mama pia unajua anatoka kidogo atafikia juu na watoto wengine inakuwa ni challenge surprising tukapata kijana mmoja ambaye anafuata Kaisa anaitwa Zebedeo pia naye ameanza kuwa weak atembei tukauliza mama na huyu kijana what is happening to him akasema eh naye ameanza kuwa tu kama ndugu yake because even even ndio ndugu yake alianza alisema ameanza kusikia vibaya miguu atembei kijana tukamsimamisha asimami ukimshikilia na simama tukamkaalisha kwa bench i think tukao nakai bench ama ile yuko chini tukapiga na hii picha tukaenda now 2019 nikaja hapa tukapata ile kijana amezidi kuwa wasi na mwingine ambaye alikuwa simami vizuri miguu yake imekunjana na hawezi stretch. Na no, mwenye anafuata Zebedeo tunamuita Josephat. Sasa pia naye ameacha shule. Sababu gani? Akienda shule watoto wakim, wakati anacheza na watoto wengine yeye anaanguka chini. Sababu one leg imeanza kuwa wii. Ah, tukasema sasa itakuwaaje? Kuanga na marafiki zangu. What can we do? Tukasema afadhali tupeleke watoto hospitali tuone kama tunaweza kufanya some test tujue nini ina wakula nimekula wa kwanza wa pili ndio huyu wa tatu ndio huyu na the fourth one tena mwingine ndio huyu si mama watoto wako hata fariki wote because the condition ukianza unaanza tu pole pole from worst to worst una from poor to worst inaelekea kukufa because kama sasa mpatazo wawili mwingine pale tunaangalia tu tunasema awe nursing watu ambao pia wataelekea kwa wengine tulipofika hospitali wakafanywa test ndaktari wakatuambia ni condition ndio alichukua blood sample na hizo test they were very expensive akasema there's a condition due to GBS is a genetic disorder inherited from the mother affecting male children over but female children is were affected on one carriers my name is Shaq Clinton nyamiaka I'm an occupational therapist GBS as it is uh, commonly known uh, in fall is uh, Boulain-Barre syndrome and uh, 
blind bar syndrome mostly uh, affects the muscles and uh, GBS is uh, an inflammatory disease where the, a person's own immune system attacks the peripheral nerves. Mm, in this case now these are the nerves which supply or innervate the lower limbs and uh, the paralysis uh, ascends to the upper body. Usually the first signs of GBS is a uh, muscle weakness which occurs suddenly and an, an, in, an individual begins to have problems with walking, climbing stairs and it, uh, it ascends quickly and uh, this People will, or a person who has a GBS will have loss of sensation in the lower limbs which ascends to the upper limbs and these kind of sensations are more pain-like or needle-like sensations which can be very disturbing. So this weakness uh, can progress to make a person to be unable to walk completely. However, uh, GBS varies in severity. Sometimes a person can have GBS and uh, may not need any medication and the symptoms go unnoticed. But in the most severe case of GBS, this person may develop severe paralysis to the extent of affecting the muscles responsible for breathing, that is the chest muscles, and uh, having difficulties in chewing and swallowing food. And to a greater extent, they may require ICU services that is for mechanical ventilation. So, kufuatilia vizuri, kuuliza mzee, mzee haka I have my in-law who had the same problem. He died, the brother too. I also my in-laws wana watoto in the family mmoja mmoja. But wao wana mtoto mmoja tu. Mbona asa mimi wanakuwa ni kama wote. So, to me, nikasema basi vila masema it can be a genetic disorder kutoko upando wa mama, possibly inezo kuwa na mnaiu. The best we could give is support, your basic needs. Wapati chakule wakule, kama ni kuulisha vizuri, wavalisha vizuri, hivyo hivyo. If I may ask, mm. if I may ask you, uh, you went to one particular hospital mm. and uh, they said it might be or it is GBS. But then again, it has not been ascertained exactly what it is. Could you tell us the treatment they, ad they advised? Something did they advise for more tests? Did they advise the kind of treatment these kids can receive? Or rather, the mother can receive to prevent if maybe she wants to have other kids so that they don't have this particular condition. Did they say a thing? Mm, that kind? If I could be frank enough, what doctors told us in KTRX, they told her it is irreversible. What has happened has happened. It's a genetic disorder we can't reverse. Mm -hmm. And we were like, no, if the people in charge have told the answer, who are we now? What can we do? What can we do else? Until this year, uh, when Kaiser died and we were doing some contributions, a friend of ours, who is a doctor, was interested in the case. And he was like, can you tell us what is happening? He told me, we were told it's GBS. I said, mm -mm, it won't be GBS. It could be something else. Let us do the contributions. We pay them NHIF for one year. We go to see a pediatrician. I find some test at least so that we can ascertain what it could be the issue. So from there to me fundraise the person, we to the part of time we we paid Nivila Nimekua some of busy dogo to the part of time to put it to what I like. And if you have to do the Doctors sometimes are too busy. Kumpata, lazima kumpata kwanza to try go ahead and to get to the hospital to do to run at a test. But to keep at the test, kada if takuwa ni race kujua what is happening. You know, research has shown even the proportion of those who die and those who survive. Some survive with uh, residual disabilities, mm -hmm. and the others live a normal life. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something which needs to come in the right perspective. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe on your part now you can alleviate. Mm -hmm. Many times in our society, you know, people are attributed to witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yes. attributed to curses. Yeah. So it needs to come out so that people do not see like. What oh. are you They said it's um it's irreversible, and rather it's uh it's genetic. 
kind of mm -hmm. from the point of explanation from the explanation they gave from what they were told yeah could you attribute it to be genetic uh or rather ideally, is it manageable as much as it yeah, is reversible gbs is manageable and uh, in fact uh, research shows that uh, 50% of people who are diagnosed with GBS recover and they live a normal life. Uh, about 40% of people diagnosed with GBS will live with residual disabilities and in that case they will require continuous rehabilitation services and in that regard rehabilitation we are talking about occupational therapy physiotherapy and sometimes speech and language therapy uh, like in the occupational therapy perspective uh, in the severe cases, as I had said, uh, people with severe GBS will have difficulties with chewing and swallowing. So in that case, occupational therapists help in uh, providing interventions to, for strengthening the muscles for chewing and enhancing swallowing. The proportion of individuals, okay, sometimes GPS can lead to death. And, uh, but the percentage with good treatment, the percentage of the people who end up maybe dying as in the unfortunate event, is uh, estimated to be about three to five percent of all cases with GBS. Asa, kama baba, umepoteza watoto wawili. Tari ugonjwa ugonjwa ijajulikana exactly ni ugonjwa gani. Na already kuna wawili wapo mwajua wanafuatu mkondo. Kama mzazi ina 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 Kama mzazi unai, unai CV pila, unajua watoto wawili wangu wawili wamefariki na wawili tayari sijapata sulisho inakuwa ni kama mzazi. Shida rasa niko nayo ni vile jijiwezi kama nilikuwa na pesa watake kwa hili usitari kubwa hili niwea sikuwa nini. Kwa hivyo nikiomba mbatani kama wansaidie harapu tusaidie hata wini doa. Sababu zebe ni sahi yako vi? Sahi yako jini, lakini ya ya natendea. Lakini kuongea kiakili wako sawa. Eh wako sawa. Ah na kama katika kijiji umepata usaidizi wote ama kitu kama kwa kijiji sisawe saidiwa. Ni nilisaidiwa na na ndio kanipeleka hospitali tukapo. Ndio kumaliza kama wiki mbili. Tukatoka tukarudi nyumbani. Sasa ugonjwa kamili hauzi wambia sasa sapata nyewe huko hizi wa kilio chako kama kama mzazi unge 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 unge, unge labda ungetaka vipi usaidizi wa namna gani mama la kingi sema kwa kweli ndio nitaoa kingi wale wote ndio mama kwa mimi na mimi ndio kingi ndio ndio na vile vile kilio kangu naomba watu wale wameuzwa na rawa ya Mungu anisaidie nipate kusaidia hawa wengine wale. Mm -hmm. mm. Sababu wewe unafanya kazi gani? Yakini sina kazi. kazi. Mm -hmm. Vibarua tu kidogo. Vibarua tu kidogo tena. Pili wakati sasa walikuja wakazana mtu wonjo nini na nini. Kwizi hakuna kibarua. Mhm. Mm Sababu watu wakumbana mm -hmm. Kama mzazi. Um unahisi aje kati yani unajua mtoto wangu huyu mwingine pia atamalizia kukufa ni mawazo gani yanakujia kwa kile yako yani labo kwa guburu ona usinywa njire bora edu kire ona kwa njire te yura na ona ndi oya kwa ndi rokiana na kwa ata na kwa njira usaidizi ni kwa nyu 
Ikona kwa tomoyo na ndi tumani ya sinya sai, etu etu maini ya sinya sai, no mugaka wosapoti na kikubeke tumurenda bana.